And back here in the states, Mitt Romney got to Ohio today as Republicans are trying to fight off repeal of the state's law limiting bargaining rights of public workers. The state's Republican Party chairman, Kevin DeWine, was quoted saying, quote, We're glad to have Governor Romney's help. Our volunteers have been working very hard on these issues, and the governor is coming to thank them. But when he got to the state today, Romney made it clear he's staying out of the fight. I'm not speaking about the, uh, the particular ballot issues. Uh, those are under the people of Ohio, but I certainly support the effort of the governor to reign in the scale of government. Uh, so uh, I, I'm not terribly familiar with the two ballot initiatives, but I'm, I'm, I'm certainly supportive of the Republican Party's effort here. Kevin DeWine is the chairman of the Ohio Republican Party and joins us now from Cincinnati. Uh, Mr. DeWine, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, is that a waffle? Is it acceptable for him to come to Ohio and not take a position on this major issue? It's the most important issue now facing the state uh, with this referendum coming up in November. Well, it's good to be with you, Andrea, and I don't think it is. That's not why we asked him to, to come to Ohio. What we have done at the Ohio Republican Party has asked every one of our presidential candidates to come to Ohio and participate in some sort of grassroots event, some sort of an event where, where they would have the opportunity to press the flesh with the GOP family. It worked out on Governor Romney's schedule to, uh, to make it today. Uh, we took him to a, a victory center where he had the opportunity to, to interact with better than 100, uh, 100 folks who have been volunteering their time in, in support of issues two and three. Uh, and so uh, we were able to accomplish exactly what we were after. And I'll tell you, these, these, uh, these victory centers, these numbers uh, that we've been able to produce uh, over the course of this campaign have been nothing short of, of phenomenal. We, we will hit better than a million phone calls uh, through the course of this campaign. We will knock on better than 100,000 doors in support of issues two and three. And I think uh, right, right, rightfully so. I think Governor Romney saw an opportunity to come to, to, to thank some of the grassroots folks in Ohio that, that he'll rely on next year should he be the party's nominee. But don't you think that people in Ohio, those at least who favor uh, continuing this law and don't want it repealed, have a right to know what Mitt Romney thinks about this issue if he wants their support to be the Republican nominee? Yeah, look, I think uh, you know the, the governor can. The governor can, I think, has spoken uh, on these issues, uh, uh, or at least addressed whether or not he was what his what his take and his position was this morning. That's fine with us. You know, our our intent he was to make sure. Basically, said he has no position at all. With all yeah, that's fine. He, and that's he, fine. he doesn't know what to think about it. He hasn't had a chance to study it. Yeah, and Andrew, that's that's okay with us. What we were trying to do here today was spend, uh, and what we've invited all the presidential candidates to come to Ohio to do is is have an opportunity to interact with the grassroots of the party, the the same grassroots of the party that we think is so critical to electing uh, the next Republican president uh, in November of 2012. It was it, we accomplished, and I think the governor uh, accomplished what uh, what we were all trying to get out of the visit. What about this new Quinnipiac poll, which shows that 57 percent favor repealing the collective bargaining law versus 32 yeah, percent who want to keep it? Doesn't that show that you are really uh, falling behind on this? Well, look, it's a, it's 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 been a rough campaign. Uh, the other side has had the benefit of emotion, uh, has had the benefit of money. But like I said, uh, the grassroots of our party has made better than a million phone calls, knocked on a hundred thousand doors. We see we see a lot of energy and excitement about these issues at the grassroots level. Uh, sure, we're uh, we're in a spot where uh, where the voters are going to decide whether whether issue two passes or fails in in two weeks. Uh, if it if it passes, uh, if it if it stays and becomes and becomes law, the the local governments and schools will have more tools to use to manage their, their workforce and manage their affairs. If it fails, Andrea, uh, the, the local schools and, and local governments are really going to be faced with two options, and that is either some sort of massive tax increase or, or some, side of, some sort of massive layoff uh, that we think is, we think is avoidable if, if issue two is passed. And finally, what about Rick Perry and the birther issue? He seems to be kind of trying to have it both ways, wading into the issue, then kind of saying he's sort of joking about it. But he has reopened this whole birther issue. Is that a good idea for the Republican Party? Uh, you're not going to see us talking about the birther issue here in Ohio. Uh, our focus uh, in 2010, our focus in 2011, our focus in 2012 is to talk about the things that are on the hearts and minds of, of 535,000 Ohioans who are unemployed and, and the hearts and minds of, of 11 and a half million other people in the great Buckeye State, and that's jobs in the economy. And, uh, and so we're not going to be distracted by, uh, by those issues. We're going to be talking about, uh, we're gonna be talking about jobs in the economy and, and really uh, the fact that President Obama came to Columbia 
Columbus last year promised a recovery summer that never happened. Uh, he came uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and stood under the shadows of the Brent Spence Bridge, where we're uh, not far from where I'm sitting today, and uh, and promised uh, a, a a second stimulus bill that that candidly he can't get Democrat votes for, that he hasn't gotten one Democrat co-sponsor for from Ohio. Uh, I think the people of Ohio are are sick and tired of being political props for the White House and are interested instead of on finding uh, a Republican candidate or a, or a presidential candidate who's willing to talk about jobs. So you think that Rick Perry should stick to his flat tax or some other economic issue and not reopen the birther issue? That was a mistake. Well, look, I, I, you know, what we are focused on here in Ohio is talking about the issue, the number one issue on the hearts and minds of people. That's jobs and the economy, taxes, deficit, debt, and spending. If we're not talking about those issues candidly, uh, we're off message. And uh, I've got a whiteboard in my office that has those five or six words on it. If, if our candidates aren't talking about those issues, uh, then at least for the people of the state of Ohio, uh, the Republicans, the independents, and the right-thinking Democrats that we can drag along with us, if we're not talking about one of those five or six issues, Andrea, we are off message. Kevin DeWine, definitely on message, and Ohio is a must-win state for both parties. Thank you very much. Good to see you. You Thanks bet. Thanks for Thank joining you. us.